Uh, my next uh, presenter, oh good, good, is um, Ruth Reynolds. <coughs> Ruth is, uh, and I both were elected to the board of directors for NAPS in the first year. First year we sat together and we always sit together. Um, she keeps me from eating the candy that's on the table. <laughs> so, I mean, but, but Ruth is here to talk to you about professional affiliations um, and the importance of that. So as soon as we get this up, then we'll give the mic to Ruth. Have fun, honey. Okay, okay. Don't beat him up, honey. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I promise. Well, listen, um, I think we need to start off with, I walk a lot, so just if I fall down, somebody come pick me up. Um, I think we need to start off with really saying about professional affiliations. Serve Now has been the best professional affiliation and will continue to be for you and for me and for all process servers and investigators. Uh, PI Now, it's, it, it's, it's wonderful, it really is. And I think we need to give them a great round of applause. What do you think? For sure. And I can't go without saying we need to really thank Steve and the association and Debbie, and he's hiding back there for that wonderful meal and for putting this together and having such a great bunch of speakers for y'all, bringing y'all this wonderful education. Steve, Debbie. Now, I guess I'm through because everything I was gonna say has already been said. How you like that? So I'm gonna ask to speak first next time so that but, uh, <laughs> no, not really, go away, go away. No, I did wanna talk about a few things. Um, I am, I'm, I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina, and I'm a Southern girl through and through. Um, I do things a little bit different. Um, some of the things that I do to build my business for 24 years was I bake a lot. I have old family recipes and all of the sheriffs know me, the clerks know me, the sanitation people at the courts know me. Um, I don't know anybody there that doesn't know me at this point in time. But whenever I go, I always make my rounds. And I would advise you thinking about this. This is, this is something that will pay off in the long run and it pays off sooner than later. I go, I may have a subpoena, out-of-state subpoena to issue. And after I leave there, I'll go by the, the clerk's office, or I may go up to the ninth floor to the, um, to the judge's chambers and just talk to them. Just run in for three minutes, five minutes, and say, uh, how was your, how's that new grandbaby? I know you just had, how's everything going there? Or uh, are you better from your flu or your surgery or whatever? But if you personalize everything, you'll be surprised. I don't know very many people that, um, that can tout this, and I'm very proud to say this. The clerks don't give anything away, but they give my name and phone number away. If somebody comes up there for small claims and says they, want, they need somebody, the sheriff can't get it served, who, what can I do? And they'll say, call Ruth Reynolds. Now, I can't buy that kind of advertising, and you can't either. So find what works for you. That worked for me, and it took a while to build it, but it wasn't as long as you think it will. But if you treat people a whole lot better, then go that extra step. Just go the extra step. It'll make a major big difference. But professional affiliations. NAPS has been good to me too. I've been a member since 1990. I was one of, I uh, started the first process serving company in North Carolina, and I started the first state association. But when I first started, I brought this today because I found it, it's in my archives. This is the first NAPS directory that I ever got as a member. This was from 1990. There were three members from North Carolina. There were seven members from Colorado. And if you ever, if you want to look at this while I'm here, I'll be glad to share it and let you look through it and see. Now the directory is about four times this size. 
If you're not a member, become a member. You're a member of this association because it carries weight. And it's going to get you places. It puts you in front of people that are going to help you to be successful in your business. This will too. And now I'm going to ask you to become a member of any association out there maybe that borders Colorado. And then as you grow, reach further out. Come on to North Carolina. I'd welcome you to be a member. And I welcome any of you to come in October to our annual conference. It's going to be a lot of fun. Steve shares information. I share information. We don't do things that much different over there than you do it over here. But if we share, you, these little nuggets that will help you get your job done better, it's amazing. I'm going to tell you a little story. It's a little quick one. Um, I was serving a paper the other day, very rural area, and I was tired. I wanted to go home. It had been a long day, and I pulled up in this yard, and uh, there was a cage with a little puppy in it. And it was a sad situation. I can't tell you how bad it was. So I go to the door and I do my deal with the lady and she was very nice, very pleasant. So when I finished, I said, can I have your dog? She said, yes. So I knew she didn't love that dog. And you, you, God puts us in places sometimes that for a reason, I believe that. So I, I said, you get him out, get her out, and put her in the back seat of my car. I'll grab a blanket and I'll take her home. Well, that dog has followed me since until I left to come here. She stays right at my feet. She's 16 weeks old and she's cute as a bug. So find these opportunities to help somebody, either a two-legged or a four-legged. They'll appreciate it. Um, there's, there's some things that you might not have thought about about places to get your name out there. I don't know where you bank, but you might want to get friendly with your banker. People come in and talk to people. They tell them their problems. Maybe they don't know, but they might know you and can give your name to them. I, I pick up more work than you can imagine from bankers, um, my masseuse, I mean, any hairdresser, just talk to people. Let them know what you do. You'd be surprised. I built a good business doing this, a really good business, and I love what I do, but I didn't do it overnight, and I didn't do it the orthodox way. I did it my way. So find your way and do it your way, but share information and help everybody else. You'll grow, they'll grow, your association will grow, this profession will grow. I hope you don't have problems like a lot of the other states are having. There's a lot of people trying to take away our ability to do our job. That's why your association needs you, needs you to back them, involvement, support them, get more members, and be strong, be very strong. And I honest, that's about all I've got to say. Um, thank you for having me tonight, today. I'm still on Carolina time, guys, I'm sorry. But thank you ever so much. Hope you have a blessed day. <laughs> okay, okay, watch this. You're my best friend, right? Yes, sir. You'll love me no matter what, right? I will. Have a great, great. what? Carolina no, Day. No, no, no. Colorado Day. All right. Okay. And what the hell is a sheriff? Huh? What's a sheriff? Oh, sheriffs are everywhere. <laughs>